Hello everyone for Voice of Reason. This is Jake Schwartz here at Kelly Fieldhouse at St. Joseph's Preparatory School. It's our Thanksgiving special for Voice of Reason and our special guest today is Big Five Hall of Fame coach William Speedy Morris. He has been coaching basketball since 1959 and 15 years here at the prep. He'll stop by to talk to us today about his great success in the basketball world along with what the future holds for the 2015-2016 St. Joe Prep Hawks. All this and more in the Thanksgiving special, Voice of Reason. Hello everyone for Voice of Reason. This is Jake Schwartz here at St. Joseph's Preparatory School. And as I walked in today, here at the St. Joseph's Preparatory St School, I saw a bunch of young men who were donating food baskets, which included turkeys, because today's date is November 24th, 2015, and in two days from now, none of us will be here. Nobody will be around within a couple miles of the vicinity of this school because everybody will be at home. It is Thanksgiving, as this is Thanksgiving week. Many people will be celebrating Thanksgiving with their families, and to all those who have lost loved ones over the last couple of months or so. We want to extend our condolences because Thanksgiving is always about spending time with your family and with those uh, around you who are family to you. And from all of us at Voice of Reason, we do wish everybody a happy and healthy Thanksgiving. As uh, today, we have a very uh, special guest that has joined us and a man that I've traveled uh, many roads with for almost two decades. I remember when I was about nine years old, he was at the same camp that many of the guests that I've had here at Voice of Reason were at. And every Monday, I was always so anxious because this man uh, came here, came to Cabrini College and spoke about the uh, excellence of basketball. And he is here with us today. And I want to eliminate, I want to eliminate the coaching of where he's been from his coaching days in the Big Five and from his high school days at both Roman, Penn Charter, and here at St. Joe's Prep. And I want to talk to my good friend, my dear friend, William Speedy Morris. Pleasure, Jake. Thanks for coming. It's good to it's, see you. It is, it's great to see you right here at the phenomenal St. Joseph's Preparatory School. Now, I've known you at least since I was about nine years old. I remember when you were just coaching in college basketball and at the time you had had some very good basketball players i just had one guest of yours doug overton can you really rewind where it is you started roman catholic and then just kind of work your way up i started in seawell basketball in 1959 <laughs> coaching st john seawell basketball team and i did that for seven years before i got the opportunity to coach at rome in my high school before i graduated loved it there i was there for 14 years and then when i left i got the job at I went to Bonner for an assistant, as an assistant coach to Eddie Stefanski, my friend. And Eddie kind of saved me because I wasn't, I was just out in limbo, didn't know what I was going to do. And he brought me in. I was uh, as assistant coach and gave me a lot of duties. And that next year, I got the Penn Charter job. I just want to point out, everybody, Eddie Stefanski is now uh, a, a, I believe he is now working with the NBA's Toronto Raptors. For those of you who know, Eddie Stefanski coached, or I should say managed, was the GM here in Philadelphia with the 76ers. He also is not with Toronto anymore. He's now with the, the Memphis Grizzlies. That's right, he is. Uh, let's make a quick correction. Eddie Stefanski now with the Memphis Grizzlies. He's had great success in the NBA. He's a great man. And then from uh, from Penn Charter, I got the women's job at LaSalle. I was there for two years. got the men's job for 15 years. And now here at St. Joe's Prep, my 15th year. You've had some great players. That's what I said. At, at St. Joe's Prep, uh, we'll get to that in a minute. But you had great success at LaSalle, both women's and men's. But let's talk about uh, what it was like coaching at Penn Charter, because there are two young men in your life that you've coached. One of whom is the head coach now at Newman Garetti, and the other one who just happens to be your son Keith. What was that like coaching him? Why well, don't Coach Keith? Uh, I got the job at LaSalle this year before. Uh, Sure, yeah, we're going to have to take a phone call here. No, uh, Keith, I, I got the job at, um, at LaSalle when he was in the freshman year, so I never had the opportunity to coach You him. never coached your son? And I did at LaSalle. Oh, you did? Okay, so you coached him at LaSalle, but you never coached him at Penn Charter. No, I never did. But you did coach a guy who, again, has had 
phenomenal success in the Philadelphia Catholic League. I mean, Carl has always said that you've been like a father figure to him. Carl was a great player at the Penn Charter. He was MVP of the Interact League when we won a championship in 1984. And uh, he's done a phenomenal job at the Newman Grady. Phenomenal. And then when you coached at LaSalle, some say you may have had the best group of players from Doug Overton to Lionel Simmons, Randy Woods, Tim Legler, uh, Larry Kettner. The list goes on. Sam Rides was even one of your players. And Jack Hurd, uh, Craig Conlon. We had a total, total great group of guys. I mean, you did have great success again. You did go on, I think, to have one year. You were, I think, 30-2, and two, weren't you? Correct. And how was, how, was, how was that year? And you went, I think, to the, if I'm correct, the uh, second or third round of the NCAA. Well, the second round of the tournament, we lost to the AC champion Clemson with the two twin towers, uh, Davis and uh, Kimball. Yeah. And uh, we were up 16 at halftime and blew that game. And they lost by three. And that uh, was a dis devastating loss, but we had a great year. And now we come to the present. Since 2001, you've coached right here at this beautiful school here at St. Joseph's Prep. I saw the list of players that are on the wall. I've even had you interview-wise for many, many years, and you've talked to me about some of the great players you've had. And I'd like you to tell me, us here at Voice of Reason, what type of players you've had here at the Prep. Well, they're great kids. This is a great school. You mentioned about the, the thing we do for Thanksgiving for the neighborhood. We do the same thing for Christmas. Uh, we, we, we do kids bring in money. They go shopping and get beautiful gifts for their families. And it's a very giving school, so I'm very blessed to be here and love it. And uh, athletically, we're, we're good. We're good in every sport, and uh, we don't we don't give scholarships, but we have a lot of kids want to come here and play in uh, all different sports. And um, so I'm very pleased and blessed to be here. You've, and I just wanted to point out that that Thanksgiving drive, as well as they'll have one for Christmas drive, where all the students will come out. CBS is here today, and they are shooting great footage of this Thanksgiving drive where. Um, people will get gift baskets that will include a Thanksgiving turkey. So just a wonderful, it's a, wonderful it's a, thing. It's, it's that a young mongus basket, all the stuff in there is great. You really have great kids that go that, well, that are here this Very well deserved. Uh, for this. It's, it's a great neighborhood. A lot of people support us in this neighborhood, so we just try, try to get back. And the names of players for you, uh, the list goes on, on, who are also, I should point out, young men. Mark Zoller, Terrific. Reggie Redding, Terrific. John Griffin. His brother, who's yeah. now coaching with you. Yeah. Uh, let's not forget about uh, the likes of Kyle Eisenman. Kyle Eisenman. Let's not forget about Steve Astoria, the Doug's son Miles, and now Chris Clover, who's now over at St. Joe University. Yeah, we've, been, we've been blessed to have the last three to four years play a year in Philadelphia. And uh, you know, they're good kids, they're great kids, and uh, we, we're just very, very, very fortunate to be part of their, their lives here. Just describe, you've been coaching since 1959, and that includes the CYO basketball. What is the thing you've learned the most? And we're, I mean, again, it's 2007, or excuse me, 2015. In about four years, you'll have officially been coaching for no more than what, like six, uh, just about 60 years. What, what has been the best, easy, yeah. what has been the best part about coaching for you? The kids, you know, uh, you think you have an opportunity to make a difference in their lives. And Hopefully, uh, hopefully, I will say that I did in most parts, not all of them, but uh, most of them. And, uh, you know, it's, it's just, it makes me, it's, it's, I don't have any hobbies. I don't golf. I don't, you don't golf? I don't never golf. I never do that. I always thought you were a big golf fan. No, I, I had a tournament, charity tournament for 40 years. I never golfed in it. We get 100 guys every year. But you get some really good uh, celebrities. But every year you have the really good... Uh, one of the best things that I love, you're also very involved with Coaches versus Cancer. Let's talk about that uh, because you do have that big event every year. Your good buddy, who is the Phillies PA announcer, Dan Baker. What's that like having him come here? He's, James is a phenomenal guy. He's, he's, you know, he's the best publicly dressed announcer in, in the country. As far Better as than the voice? Sports. Better than the voice. Oh! Just, just snips you out a little bit. <laughs> But uh, he's uh, he's, a, he's a real good guy. He, he just he called me up when I got the job. Said, "Look, I'd like to do a game or two, and he does it every year. And you know, it's just great to have him. Sure, he really is a nice person. And, well, that that's the most important thing. Great human being, but he is very. He's been he's been doing this longer than just about anybody else. You can't get a better PA announcer in this city than a guy like Dan Baker. But what does coaches versus cancer mean to you? 
But that thought it was an eighth grade of cancer in the throat. And, yeah. uh, so it means a lot. And, uh, I just cannot not emphasize enough the great job Phil Martell and Fran Duffy do. For that. Uh, you know, all, all the Super 6 coaches are involved in it, but no one, no one does more than those two guys. And I don't care what it is. If you ask them to come and speak for coaches for cancer, they'll do it. They've raised millions and millions of dollars. And Philadelphia might be the number one city in the state now in the country raising money for coaches for cancer. And it's because of Phil and, and Fran. They're, so they're really committed to it. So we, we've raised about $8,000 for our games here since I've been here. One, one game a year. Well, we're here again at uh, St. Joseph's Preparatory School here in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. And we're here with Speedy Morris, the head basketball coach, a man who has been coaching uh, basketball since 1959 when he started coaching CYO basketball this season. Uh, Speedy, uh, all roads have to lead towards both your alma mater, Roman Catholic, and Numa Garetti. What is this team looking like this year? Losing a big player in Chris Clover. What are we looking for? Well, we, we lost, again, a lot, of, a lot of guys. We only have nine points returning from last year. We, we last year, uh, were great uh we, we had our, we had one kid back with chris clover he, he just was a great leader and we had all jv guys and we won 18 games 18 to 5 so it was a great year this year has got to be the same we only, only we don't have a chris clover to build around so we'll have to see what happens speedy morris the head coach here at st joe's prep joining us today and speedy it's a pleasure as always to see you and we want to thank you again for stopping hey, by man who good luck with you thank yeah. you and you know what I, I knew that when i came here today or i knew that when i started this podcast i had to include a man who i've had many many roads with for the last two decades that's speedy morris the head coach of st joe's prep here in philadelphia pennsylvania and from all of us here at voice of reason we'd like to wish everybody thanks a happy and healthy thanksgiving and we'll see you at the basketball games.